Hi, it's Heather. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to tell you about five books that I think every artist, crafter, or creative should read. These are books that I've read and they made a huge impact on my art and my art business. Okay, so the first book is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. And um, this was written by the same lady that wrote um, Eat, Pray, Love. And this book is so amazing. It's basically all about creativity and finding um, creativity just in your everyday and making your life about creativity. And also it has some stuff about like looking on the brighter side of things. No matter what situation you're in, finding the good in it and like finding the story and finding ways to make it affect your life in a positive way. Um, and it has kind of an interesting take on ideas and how ideas might come to you and you might implement them or you might not. And if you don't implement it, that's okay. You can be okay with that because it's going to find its way to the next person that might do it. So you don't have to feel guilty about it. Like if you're excited about an idea and then eventually the excitement just goes away and you don't feel like working on it, that's okay. Move on to the next thing. So that book uh, really helped me a lot uh, with my creativity and um, just living a creative life. So another book is 52 Weeks of Creative Living by Malcolm Dewey. So I got this book because I actually started reading his podcast, which is awesome, and it's just so inspiring. He talks about his everyday life as an artist, and um, just a lot of different topics, like um, about, you know, coming up with ideas, and, um, you know, art demands courage from the artist, and do artists have to sell out to make better art, and um, plein air painting, and... Um, a lot of different things. It's just each each chapter, some of the chapters are really short, they're just like a couple pages, but each chapter is very inspiring. Each one has like a very different topic and they're actually um, pulled from his blog and I really also recommend his podcast too. It's just so fun to listen to. I like to listen to um, his podcast while I'm painting or you know working on some art and it's just really inspiring and it just makes me want to create more art and it's just so fun hearing about just the everyday life of an artist. So I definitely recommend this book and the podcast. Um, another book, um, this one is actually I read this book in my business book club so this is kind of more for like if you're making a business out of your art. And this book is called Worth Every Penny um, by Sarah Petty and Aaron Verbeck. So this book is really great because as an artist, I've struggled so much with pricing things. Um, I feel like, you know, I, I'm scared to put a big price on my work because then I'm afraid no one's going to want it. And then, you know, you don't want to go too low and not even be making any money. So this book is about not discounting your work, but instead making it worth the price you're putting on it. And so it's like about having a boutique business, basically, and surprising and delighting your customer. So if you have this big price, then, or, you know, whatever price you feel is fair, People aren't going to say that costs too much because you're adding in like little extras. Um, they use, I believe it's Zappos, the shoe company, as an example where um, they ship their shoes and you get them like, I don't know, next day or something um, and some other things like extra things that they do just to like surprise and delight their customers and you know, you want your customers to be so excited about your product that they're going to go tell everyone and you know you don't have to do so much promotion because word of mouth basically does it for you. So it's like all those things kind of go hand in hand. And Worth Every Penny will really help you to see how you can do this for your business. Alright, so another book is Craft a Life You Love. So I found out about this book um, from a podcast I was listening to. Um, 
and this is by Amy Tangerine and basically it's kind of like a self-help book but for artists and creatives and crafters it's really cool so this girl um, she's a crafter and she's made her own business like making shirts and um, she does like scrapbooking materials um, and she basically is talking about finding um, happiness in your life through crafting and how crafting is such a big part of life like it's what makes you happy you know I mean you might think oh I don't have time for crafting I don't have time to do my art I have other things in life but you have to do what makes you happy and she talks about how like she goes through her different phases in life she moves to all these different places but the one thing that grounds her is her art and her crafting because that's the one thing that's always there that she always does no matter what and I mean it's a part of you it's a part of you that you know you need to take care of and you need to use it and it's what's gonna make you happy so just do it so I love this book and it's so beautiful too <laughs> there's a lot of like activities kind of in it like um, questionnaires and stuff but I I kind of read through them but I don't really Put too much into them I because I really like just like the reading part so yeah this is really good okay my next book is two awesome hours this book is really great especially if you are a crafter that has your own business and if you work from home or if you make your own hours um, or even with your regular job it could probably could also help too so this book is about taking the um, most productive parts of your day and doing the best projects with those and then taking the hours where you're like more low energy and then using those for stuff like answering emails and you know doing things that just don't take a lot of brain work um, so this book is really great because it kind of helps you to find where that area is for you in the day so like for example a lot of people might answer emails in the morning like as soon as they get to work but for me I don't because my most productive time is in the morning so instead I'll get to my project that needs the most energy like a painting or something that needs a lot of brain power and so I'll do that and then later like in the afternoon when I have low energy then that's when I'll answer emails and you know do those things that don't really require a lot of thinking um, so, and then another thing is just making the most of your energy through the day, like eating the right foods. So, for example, you might think like, or at least I thought that like eating the right foods would just kind of like help you in the long run, but it's actually where like, depending on what foods you eat, there's an immediate effect. Like if you eat a lot of sugar, then like immediately you're going to crash, of course, but then like other stuff too, like eating protein versus like vegetables and fruits um, they do different things and so eating the right things based on what you want out of it like eating certain things before you have a big meeting with a client um, and stuff like that so um, that book was really great just for like planning out my day and doing things at the right time and making the most of my high energy because you can't expect to do high energy things all day that's insane you know like you need a break you're human you gotta rest so if you could put in like two to four like awesome hours each day you would do so much better work than just like chugging along for like eight hours and just being dead so I highly recommend that book it's really great well I hope that these books were good suggestions for you and if you have any suggestions for me let me know because I love reading and um, I love reading books that help me in my art journey so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you later bye